Hey, welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Long way on the button there. Oh, now I've gone too far. <laughs> Hope you're all well. Hope everyone is safe and sound today. It's Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, 20, 25th of March. Nearly the end of the month. Be a good month to get rid of, I think, for a lot of people. Um, I'm happy to get rid of 2020 and write it all off now if we can and just take the loss. Um, that would be super, I think, for a lot of people. I um, hope you're all well. hope everything's going okay. If you're working, that's good. If you're stuck at home, well, just think you're doing the right thing and being home is saving someone's life. So that's a, probably a positive way to look at it. It's a pain in the ass, but you're still alive. Uh, sometimes suffering makes other people gives other people a chance so anyway we will onwards and upwards uh hashtag uh, create no matter what i think that's a new adorama one the boys are doing on their channel and i think it's a good little slogan create no matter what even though we could be in despair bored uh just lack enthusiasm general enthusiasm to do stuff Create no matter what is a is a really good idea, and I think it's and I'm I'm pretty keen on it. The fact that just there's there's something, and I thought about I've been starting to think about. I guess once we go full lockdown, which is only inevitable uh, here in Australia, it is what am I going to do for video content stuff for my photography? And I had a thought about it, and I sort of think macro landscape photography. I don't know if that's a thing. I haven't heard of it being a thing, but I thought about using the landscape, but looking at it from a macro perspective. So where we look at mountains and landscape photography and trees and water and stuff like that, can I do that at a macro scale and then do like macro pa panoramas and stuff like that? So that's my sort of goal for myself and it's something I wanna try and delve into. Um, I do have my big, beautiful new lens, my 300 mil, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out depending on when they lock us down. So see how we go on that one if we can get out and actually use that bad girl. Um, other than that, I got a heap of photos uh, edited last night. I got a few, I went through a, some ones before I closed them off and archive them uh, from the Astro shots at the old tree. Um, I didn't get a lot with stars in it. There was a, a couple of some really nice cloud formations and some star patches, and they were decent photos, so I cleaned them up. I've got them there, at least then I can use them for my Instagram and other stuff, so they, it's not a total loss. I don't think you ever get a total loss out of photography, or, or, apart from the fact that A, you get to go out and witness this thing first place, first hand, and you enjoy your time and have one with your thoughts and some peace and quiet and just listening to nature. That's that's a bonus straight off. Uh, if you get a, a, some good photos, okay, well you've got something there and it's not that all bad. If you get an amazing photo, well then you're really super, super lucky. Uh, if you get, and then you add everything else in and you might get a video and stuff. I didn't do much video on that. I only got the time lapse of the lightning storm, as I said to you yesterday. Uh, that one I'll probably just use that off, off separate as well. So uh, very cool. Um, so yeah, got a bit of that done and I've got to get more into the video tonight. I'll probably hit that hard tonight and start doing all the photos for that one. Uh, the editing the photos is probably the biggest thing at the moment is been having so many and go through and find the ones I want to use and cut them down and then go through and edit them. Cause you can't really, you need to do a sort of partial Quick edit, and I'm getting faster and faster out with my presets. I've got a preset made up now, my own Lightroom edits. I can whack on, and that's very similar to the style I'm sort of, I enjoy, I guess. Each, everyone's different. And then I can whack that on and start going through them, and I'm getting a bit quicker, but it's, when you go through a couple of hundred photos, it can still take a bit of time, and then you go into a full edits on, say, 10 or 20 photos, there's a, there's a good night in itself. But uh, look, it's all good and good. We'll get that through the weekend. I am filming a, another video straight after this show. So we're gonna get straight into that. So let's get into this one. Rightio, um, not a real lot. We, we'll talk about some fun stuff first. Fuji, uh, if you're a 
Fuji X100 owner, and Nissi, the filter, I think they're Australian, I'm not 100%, I know, I'm pretty sure they're Australian company, um, has just released a new filter holder for you guys. It's basically like a landscape filter setup. Um, you can just unscrew the lens cover, your, your lens uh, piece on the end, there's like a little protective cover there. Unscrew that, you screw on their filter holder so you can put in your slides. Now it uses the P1 mobile, uh, mobile phone filter range from uh, Nissi and it looks pretty good. It comes out on the 6th of April, you can pre-order it now. It'll hold two filters at once, so you can use a gradient and a, a say a polarizer filter or a polarizer and a normal ND in there. Um, it does come out in a kit for 99 bucks Australian, which I think is a really good price. Uh, that's awesome compared to what filters cost. Filters cost a friggin' packet. Um, way too expensive. I, I really don't see. And you come out $99, you get a you get the holder, uh, a grade, gradient neutral, so a gradient eight, uh, HD polarizer, uh, ND8, and you also get a natural night plus a carrying case. That natural night ones, they're killers. I want to get one of them, but the only one that I can find is mid mid hundreds to nearly 200 bucks just for a natural night filter. Um, it's a lot of money. I just don't have it. And I'm sure most people are like me in the budget range. Um, so yeah, like for 99 bucks, it's a pretty awesome set. So if you have got an X100, this could be a really, really good setup for you. It'll, they guarantee no vignetting, vignetting on it uh, with these filters on. So that's great. It's a really, it comes its own kit. So that's really good. And a gradient eight and a neutral denser eight is probably a good starting point. And it doesn't look like those, uh, their mobile series are that expensive for their glass slides. So you could easily get to book yourself up a set and, and have a really nice filter set for your new camera. So yeah, if you, again, Fuji X100, go over to Nissi, check that out. And I believe if you get there soon, I'm not sure how it'll work for a pre-order, but they do have 20% off on their eBay. So um, them and Siri, uh, Siru, S-I-R, you either, tripods and they do filters as well. Don't forget they get 20% off on eBay. There's heaps of sales on. Sales are ridiculous. If, uh, if you do have money uh, and you need stuff, it's a great time to buy stuff because everyone's doing sales left, right and centre. Yeah, awesome. The millionaires will be stoked. Um, Rightio, let's go into the updates on COVID. Uh, Rightio, some Australia, some big things happening as of tonight at midnight. Uh, for us, it gets a little bit serious. We're currently stage one across Australia. We're going into stage two, which is a lockdown. Basically, the thing's gonna be banned as of tonight. Uh, no parties at your house, no barbecues at your house, no birthdays, beauty therapy, tanning, and luxury nail salons, tattoo parlors, all gone, they have to shut. Auctions gone so for your house no auctions for your house no car auctions they're all closed they have to close unless they do it online uh, open house inspections which shafts us as well that uh, that's pretty much screwed us that means we're now pretty much stuck here for 12 months again after doing or spending all that money and work to get the house ready for sale we're done on that uh, I'd say that pretty much locks that us out uh, possibly end of the year we could start doing it again. We'll have to look into it, but yeah, my leave I took off, all this leave I took off with my maternity leave, uh, I think it's I think one more swing of, and then I was going into my holidays, so it's pretty much got to work what's going to happen. So that pretty much locks that out. So stuck here for another 12 months and then have to re-spend all that money that we did to do it up to get ready for sale. So that's disappointing for us definitely so that's probably one that's affected us heavily uh, but yes yeah, so no no open house no no inspections uh, amusement parks play centers fitness centers swimming pools all sports done dusted as of tonight will be basically illegal I don't think it's illegal as yet for that but basically told you must not do it um, there's no fines. I know they are ramping up what is legal and stuff, so they will be, they will, I think that's gonna happen. Caravan in and camp locations, uh, just check with your local state governments because they will um, 
be doing that individually. I guess if you are in a campsite, the people running the camp, I'm sure they're going to be getting information from the government to them to let you know what to do. So just catch up with the guys. I'm sure they'll be running, putting notes in your door or letting you know somehow um, about what is going to be happening for you guys. I'm not sure where you go if you are camping or caravanning and you're stuck, uh, what you're going to be able to do and where you can go because the borders are all shut. I don't know if, if you've got a caravan, if you can drive across the border and just park on the side of the road and self-isolate for 14 days. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Um, but, but yeah, so there's a fair bit happening. Uh, full ban on international travel, that's done. Uh, that's fully banned, that's illegal now to travel internationally. There'll be no flights out of Australia. Uh, no one be able to go on flights, so that's thing. Now, this, where it gets stuck, it's really nasty, and as much as it affected me for, for our house and sales, there's a lot worse off, and there always is someone worse off than yourself, so I'm, I don't really consider myself that really well smashed in the face. But people's with, uh, people who had weddings, uh, weddings can now only be five people. Um, one of my wife's friends at, at her work had a wedding coming up, I think, in May. She's had to postpone that to the end of the year. Um, obviously, that's a huge cost. All sorts of weddings to the people that were going to take, that were going to be working at the wedding, selling the, doing the food, the function, the venues, all that's got to be shuffled and changed. Uh, people planning weddings are now going to have to look, probably push back another year, stuff like that. Um, my niece has got a wedding in uh, middle of end of May. I've got a funny feeling we're not going to be able to get there now. So it's really sad for those guys. I really do feel for them. It's um, it's a terrible thing. Um, I guess they're just going to. It's not much you can do about it. But yeah, so five people. That's so that's your bridegroom, uh, two witnesses, and the celebrant, and that's it. So you can't have any family members whatsoever. Wow, that's a huge one. Even worse, uh, funerals. Maximum 10 people at funerals and they have to keep their space. Um, I don't know what you do there. Uh, that's, that's a tough one. If for whatever reason you've had someone, a loss in the family and then you, you can only have 10 people there and it's, that's, that's huge. That's a huge one and I think that's gonna be hard on a lot of people. Um, very sad and I've, it's, there's not much you can do about it. Um, it's obvious they've got these things in place, they need to reduce it. It's, again, if you haven't realised already that it's getting bad, it's gonna get worse. Um, this is, again, this is only stage two. Uh, we haven't got to the next stages. So the harder we follow these basic rules, the easier the next stages are going to be, so just prepare. And the big one, huge, huge announcement today, Olympics, push back to 2021. We knew it was going to, I'm pretty sure I knew it was going to happen. Um, we'd, I've talked about it a few times in the daily vlog, that's going to happen, um, and today they locked it in. It is done and dusted after Canada pulling out yesterday. I said yesterday that it's probably going to, how it's not going to be too far away, well, it was 24 hours. Canada, uh, Canada pulled out, um, I'm assuming a few others pulled out yesterday as well to help them, but they've pushed it back, it's now gonna be 2021. I think that's the first time ever, even during World War II, I think with the, in Germany, still countries went, they didn't put it off, they went. Um, this is huge. It's a, and I think the reason they took so long for it is because the money, money train on that is a megalithic proportions, we're talking multi-billion dollar losses here. Uh, even by pushing it back a year, uh, your training programs as a sports person, uh, when you, you, you train for four years and you plan until that 12 months and then your plan changes in that 12 months and those professional athletes, like it's a, there's a tapering and there's tapering up and there's tapering down and preparing and resting and all that. These guys would have been into that. They're gonna to have to redo all their training schedules and, and, do a, and sort of set it up and then sort of do a six month and then a six month. So that's gonna really affect their training. They gotta make sure they're healthy and do all that stuff. How they're gonna train for the next three to six months. 
they lose that training. There's not much running you can do as a long distance runner in your house. Although I did hear yesterday someone did 50 Ks in his house, uh, something like 6,000 laps, some marathon runner. He just ran around his house all day. I hope he doesn't live in a unit because if you're downstairs, you'd want to kill him. But you can do stuff. But yeah, so huge, huge blow to those uh, amazing athletes that do go to the Olympics and perform for us to enjoy. That's going to be huge. Uh, obviously, the financial stuff, the TV revenue, and all that, uh, the tourism into Japan. I think that doesn't that'll sort of bounce back because it hasn't been wiped out. It's just pushed back a year, and I think that was the best option. Uh, it just means 12 months later and they've got 12 months they can do some testing make sure their stadiums facilities and everything at tickety boo uh, the new world order will be in so it'll be more i'm sure it's going to be the cleanest olympics you've ever been to uh, japan's already ridiculously super clean uh, they're amazing what they do in their country i just absolutely love the japanese um, but now after this if we get to the stage and it's all good and we bounce out of this I think the new age of being hygienic and clean and healthy and fighting viruses and doctors and medical facilities and all that's got to change. Uh, the government's definitely going to have to put a larger portion of money into making sure something like this never happens again. Um, even though it's once in a hundred years, the global economy, I don't think the risk is really worth risking it for a hundred years. Um, but anyway, we'll see how we go. So that's, that was probably the biggest news of the day, the Olympics uh, the, and all the banned stuff here in Australia. If I know you're in, if you're in other countries, please check with your local areas of what, what stage you're in, what is banned. Keep your distance, stay healthy, stay clean, and yeah, just find some hobbies, find some doing stuff. As I said, my, I, found, I found what I want to do. I, I want to really get into my macro and play with my beautiful Super Takamaa macro lens while I'm home, which is perfect. Um, and then see how I can turn macro to macro landscapes and attack that from a angle, I guess. That's me. Another day, right? I've got to go and film a, another video for you guys. Uh, a little tip, it's uh, something to do with a new bag and my gear, but anyway. I'll see you all soon. Stay safe. Stay clean. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. If you're going that way or that way, I'll see you soon. Ciao.